The Good Life Game Show is proudly brought to you by the Ghana Health Service with support from the BCS Project and USAID. Africa and the rest of the wonderful world. Thank you very much indeed for joining us on the Good Life Game Show, proudly brought to you by the Ghana Health Service, the BCS Project, with sponsorship from the USAID. My name is Johnny Hughes, the bona fide genius, and it gives me great pleasure indeed to welcome you onto the greatest show in Ghana right now. This show, the Good Life Game Show, helps you to educate yourself, to entertain yourself to inform you and even better, it elevates you to that level where you choose and enjoy your good life. Let me remind you that on this show, you can win some goodies. There's 1,000 Ghana Seas at stake. And on this show, we have five, five dynamic individuals represented by two strong men and three beautiful ladies. They have come set ready to play for that cash prize. But of course, it doesn't come easy. They have to answer questions to get the money. And if the very first time you are watching, let me run you through how we play here on the Good Life Game Show. To play the Good Life Game Show, the potential contestant must be of age 18 and above of a sound mind and body. 2. Text your name to short code 1761 and wait for our call. 3. Take your spot on the show and play your way to great rewards in three exciting rounds. Each round will be explained by the host of the show. This is the Good Life Game Show, plain and simple. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it gives me my greatest pleasure to ask you to give your warmest welcome to five of a kind on the show today. First, we have Josephine. Ciao. Netonam, Albert, and Kufie. Last but not least, Kufie. Gentlemen and ladies, welcome to the show. So that's our five. They are ready. They will either dazzle you with their brilliance or otherwise. I don't know. We'll find out when we return from this break. Welcome back. Let's begin round one. But first, the rules. Round one is a very simple round. That's uh, one of my favorites in the Good Life Game Show. You don't know each other. I'm sure you want to bond and strike acquaintances because the one who gets the highest accumulated score picks out two of the contestants from the stage. Every question has a lifespan of five seconds and carries a mark, three marks, three points. So at the end of the round, we'll put together the marks and whoever gets the highest score kicks two of you out. So good luck, guys. Josephine, in geometry, how many sides has a quadrilateral? Five. Five, you are wrong. It's four. Four. Charles, which part of the body would be treated by a chiropodist? The shoulder. The shoulder is wrong. It's the feet. Etonam, what is the name of the colored part of an eye? Is it the iris or the cornea? The Cornea. The cornea is wrong as the iris. Albert, in astrology, which sign of the zodiac is represented by the ram? Is it Aries? Is it Libra or Capricorn? Capricorn. Capricorn is wrong as Aries. Dufier, how many strings are on a violin? Four, five, six, or seven? Six. Six is wrong, it's four. Hey, me one one. Hey, me one one. Justin. In which month of 1929 did the St. Valentine's Day massacre take place? February. 19. February is correct. <laughs> Charles, which animal is associated with the beginning of an MGM film? A bull or a lion? A lion. A lion is correct. <laughs> now you see the lions are with a huge roar. Etonam, 
How would you spell the plural of axis? Axis is spelled A-X-I-S. What's the plural of that? Spell that. A-S-I-S. Five seconds. A-S. Yes. Madam, madam, you don't know. Mm -hmm. Is A-X-E-S. A-X-E-S. Albert, in Greek legend, whose touch turned everything into gold? Five seconds. No idea. No idea. It was the Midas, Midas touch. It's the Midas touch. Have you heard that song? Dufie, how many kidneys does a normal human have? How many kidneys? Two. Two, that's correct. Josephine, what is the longest river in the world? The longest in the world. Is it a Lake Bosumche or the Dinsu River? River Pra. River Pra. <laughs> it's a river of thing, of thing. It's a river Nile. It's a river Nile. Charles, which sign of the zodiac is represented by the fishes? Aquarius. Aquarius. <laughs> of course, we know that the aquarium carries fishes. <laughs> It's a Pisces. It's a Pisces. Etonam, in what mountain range is Mount Everest? You have no idea you've been bailed out. Etonam is Himalayas. Albert, how many years are there in the millennium? Millennium? Yeah, millennium. How many? Two thousand. Two thousand. Because we had a millennium in year two thousand years. <laughs> it's a thousand years. A thousand years. Oh, Charlie, beat me by one. <laughs> Dufie, what color is the circle on the Japanese flag? Japo flag. Green. Green, it's blue. It's red. The color of the circle in the Japanese flag is red. And that brings us to the end of round one. We've just finished one round, round one, where our contestants are still deciding which one amongst them takes home the 1,000 Ghana CDs. Of course, moving on to the sec second stage and the third stage. So, at the end of round one, how did our contestants fare? That means there's a tie. Joseph, Josephine, sorry. Josephine, Charles, and Dufier. Let's break the tie, shall we? Josephine, the Akosombo Dam was built in 1965. True or false? True. True, that's correct. <laughs> Who is the Chancellor of the University of Ghana? Chancellor. She's got it right, too. Who's the Chancellor? You've been bailed out. It's Busumuru Kofi Annan. Busumuru Kofi Annan. Dufie. Uh, the Black Bombers are associated with which sporting activity? The Black Bombers. Black Bombers. Soccer. Soccer is wrong. It's boxing. That means, Josephine, you are landlady for round one. At long last, how do you feel? After the long stretch. I feel safe. <laughs> you feel safe, eh? OK, kick two people out. Quick, quick, quick. Oh, yeah, now. Oh, oh, those in the middle. We're going on and we're in round two, the wild card round. So, Charles dress down, Josephine join, and Dufie, you go up. Two ladies, one man, thousand Ghana CDs. Now, in this round, you're going to watch a video. The title of the video is the Sister Sister Documentary Drama. You've seen it on TV before. But here I'm going to show you that, that, uh, that clip again. And right after that, we'll come back to ask you questions. Are you ready? Are you ready? Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, so I will see the video, please. Abu Bruno ma, omo oji di e omo mo pa. Ma san su di tu mo se, wo di kroye e yo mo ko sister sister na. E nyoma bibre wo ho mo beti mi aye.
Oh, Okay, people, you saw the video. I'm sure you read the subtitles too because the video was in P. Good. We'll begin round two shortly. But first, let me introduce our resource person on the show. We have Dr. Margaret in the house. Please put your hands together for Dr. Margaret. If this is your first time, Dr. Margaret is our resource person. She's a specialist pediatrician and she's a medical practitioner as well and she's here to help us out. So let's go on to the questions now. Charles, which two family planning methods were discussed by Auntie Adiza and Auntie Paulina in the video? IUD and then the implant. The IUD? Yes. Is it not the same as the implant? The IUD? No. It's different? Yes. Are you sure? And the pills. IUD and the pills. Safe. 
How you doing, Appeals? That's correct. Josephine, what was Auntie Adiza's response when Ikria said people gain weight shortly after taking the pill? She said it was not true. But she it's said... Not, she said it was not true. Uh -huh, but... Is that all you want to say? She said it was not true, but the people should check her out. And then she went like that. Oh, yeah. You saw that. But let's go on to Dr. Margaret for some expert advice. Doc? Yes, Auntie Adiza used herself as an example. She had been taking the... She had been taking the pill for a while and she had not gained weight. So, one out of two? One out of three? Or two out of three? Which is which? Two out of three. Two out of three. Yes. So, Josephine, you have two out of three. <laughs> I see you are clapping for yourself. You are closer to the money. Uh, Dufie, what did the woman with the baby Amma say about the pill? She said you could still take the pill and then if you want to give birth, you stop it, then you get pregnant and then... That's, that's splendid. That's splendid. Put your hands together. <laughs> she said she's been using it even before she got married and anytime she wants to get pregnant, she just stopped using it and she asked the people to look at her third child. But let's go to Dr. Margaret. Doc, throw some more light, please. Yes, the pill is not a permanent method. It's temporary. You use it when you don't want to have children. And then when you want to have children, you stop using it like the lady in the video said. Thank you, Doc. Charles, what did Auntie Adiza say about the pill and other contraceptive methods? She said that the, when, when you use the pill, you know, there are other... Normal. The pill and other contraceptive methods. Okay, she said that it's normal to feel some um, discomfort when you take the pill, but after four to six months, it will get normal. I'm not sure. She said they are safe and convenient. You heard that? <laughs> Justin, two misconceptions were raised about IUD in the video. Mention one. There were two. Mention one. You, when, when you take it, you become fat. Mm. Yeah. Okay, and what again? Because I'm not buying that one. And when, when you take it also, you cannot menstruate well. I think that that one is okay. I'll give you two out of three. Here's your question. What was Auntie Paulina's response to the misconception that the IUD changes menstrual cycle? She said it could change, if, if in sex, it could change between four months to six months. <clears throat> to six months. Okay. I'll give you, I'll give you, I'll give you. Is that it changes it a bit, but it becomes normal after a short while, between four to six months. Doc, you want to ask something? No, that's okay. Thank you very much. So that ends round two. We'll be back with round three, the scores, and more. Stay with us. This is the Good Life Game Show, proudly brought to you by the Ghana Health Service, the BCS Project, with sponsorship from the USAID. Round two is over and we're straight in round three. But first, I'll give you the scores. But I want to ask you, are you playing from home? No. What you can do is to pick up your phone right now and text the word Good Life to the short code 1761. It activates your phone to play along as I read the questions. So we call it the home play. Alternatively, if you want to be on this grand stage to play on this show, pick up your phone and send your name in text to the short code 1761 across network as a generic code, and so it runs through. Now, at the end of round two, how did our contestants fare? That means Charles is the end of the road for you. It's a completely ladies' affair. 
Round three is our thematic round, and on this show, this episode, we're focusing all our attention on family planning and reproductive health. Are you ready? Good, let's begin. Justin, what are the permanent family planning methods for men and women? Permanent for men and women. Vasectomy. Speak louder. Vasectomy. Yeah, vasectomy. Uh, vasectomy is for men. What's for women? No idea. Uh, you don't know the one for the women, or you don't know the one for the men. I suspect you. I suspect you. Anyway, vasectomy, I'll give you one. The other one is tubal ligation. Dufie, name two family planning methods that men can use if they do not wish to have any more children. Two. Condoms. Condoms. Vasectomy. Vasectomy, I like that. Brilliant. I like the way you stress the condoms. Josephine, after a vasectomy, how long should a man and his partner use any form of family planning method to ensure the woman does not become pregnant? For a lifetime. For a lifetime, you are wrong. <laughs> it's for three months or for 20 ejaculations. Yeah, specifics. <laughs> Doc, please help us out here. <laughs> the vasectomy is not immediately effective. So you need another form of protection for the next three months before you can go and use a vasectomy on its own. So you need a backup method for the next three months after vasectomy to ensure that your partner does not become pregnant. Or you could be counting the ejaculations <laughs> to make sure you get 20. Dufie, name one condition that must be met in order for women to be naturally protected against pregnancy while they are breastfeeding. Avoid sex. Avoid sex. Is exclusive breastfeeding throughout day and night for six months. Let's let the things happen. Doc. Exclusive breastfeeding means you are breastfeeding the baby only. You are feeding with only breast milk. No other, nothing like water, porridge, nothing at all. Only breast milk. So if you exclusively breastfeed your child, then you have what we call lactational amenorrhea, and that protects against pregnancy. But like he said, it has to be day and night, every time the child wants to feed, and then you add nothing. How does the condom protect against unwanted pregnancy? How? The sperm gets into it to prevent it from entering uh. the vagina. <laughs> Just when that's correct, and it's actually to provide a barrier against contact with the semen. So there's no contact between the semen and the eggs in the uh, woman. Dufier, when a condom, when is a condom likely to burst? When is a condom likely to burst? When there's pressure. When there's pressure? I mean, <laughs> you understand? I don't understand. Okay, when, when there's too much pressure. Too much pressure, too much vim. Um, um, <laughs> when sex is too dry or getting too rough wow. or if the woman is not aroused enough. Doctor, please help me out. I think I'm not well schooled in this area. I think what Dufi wanted to say was friction rather than pressure. If there's too much friction, it generates heat and then it can burst. Also, if it is not worn very well, it can also burst. So the word is friction. Friction. Not pressure. So if we substitute friction with pressure, how many marks that Dufi get? Or she doesn't get anything at all? No. Nothing at all? No. Okay. Dufi, you're wrong according to doctor. Josephine, what should you do if the condom comes off inside the woman during sex? You should stop sex and remove it. <laughs> 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 you should stop sex and remove it. Well, what I have is pull it out carefully, making sure the contents don't spill. Doc? Yes, yeah, she's right. You need to stop and then pull it out gently, making sure you do not spill the contents. Otherwise, you defeat the purpose for wearing the condom. So she needs to get her points. Okay. So Josephine has three points. Two for 
What is the main cause of a condom coming off during sex? When the vagina of the woman is dry and there's excess friction or pressure. You're wrong. It says if the man loses his erection or does not pull out in time after ejaculation, then it comes off. Justin, what is the correct way to put on a condom? What is the correct way? You don't know? Yes. <laughs> you don't know. Doctor, please help us out. The teaching is that you squeeze the tip of the condom to prevent trapping of air. And then you roll it on with your right hand, continuing to hold the tip with your left hand. And then whilst you roll down, you smooth out any bubbles that may be trapped inside. Okay. Dufie, if you want to have a lot of children, it is recommended to have them immediately one after another. True or false? True. True, that's wrong. It's false. <laughs> Doc, please throw some more light here. It is not recommended to have too many babies too close together. Because after every pregnancy, you have to allow time for that child to grow. You need time to breastfeed that child. The teaching is to breastfeed the child for up to two years. So if you are getting pregnant too early, it means the child will not get all the benefits of breastfeeding. Again, the mother herself has to regain her strength as much as possible to prepare adequately for the next pregnancy because each pregnancy takes its toll on the mother. And also it helps the family just to put something aside to cater for the new baby that they will be expecting. So you are not allowed to have too many of them too close together. It doesn't help the family, it doesn't help the children either. Thank you very much, Doc. That brings us to the end of round three. If you want to play on the show, kindly send your name in text to the short code 1761 and wait for a call. At the end of round three, this is how our contestants fare. Congratulations. Dropping the curtains on this note, on this episode of the Good Life Game Show brought to you by the Ghana Health Service, the BECS project with sponsorship from the USAID. I hope you've been educated, you've been entertained, you've been informed, and even better, elevated to that stage where you can say, ah, that's my good life, and I'm going to enjoy it, powered by my good health. My name is Jonah Hughes, the bona fide genius, and on behalf of the rest of the team here from the Plus GH1 Entertainment Studios, it's time to go, and what do I leave you with? I said no one knows tomorrow, but in pain or sorrow, keep hope alive in your marrow for tomorrow. Who knows? The rich may be borrowing and the poor may be lending. We'll see you again next time, but please, please, please remember that your good life goes with good health and you, yes, you, you have that single obligation to live it well. Think about it and enjoy. This program was brought to you by the Ghana Health Service, BCS Project and USAID.